Today's Tuesday tidbit is on using retirement accounts for the down payment. What are the options there? Uh, how much can you get access to? Um, those are kind of the general idea around that question. So retirement accounts, you have a couple different options. So uh, number one, when you have a 401k and it's parked with the current institution that you currently work for, uh, you can typically take a loan from that 401k for the purpose of buying a house. Uh, how much you can get access to, you really need to inquire with your 401k provider, Fidelity, Vanguard, whoever the case may be, and ask them, hey, how much do I have access to? Um, they'll give you a couple different options. Early withdrawal, in which case there's going to be tax consequences associated with it, unless you're of retirement age, or uh, a loan from that 401k. I really like the loan option. You're basically borrowing your own money, paying yourself back with interest. Now, one caveat with that is a lot of uh, institutions will say you can borrow money from 401k, but you cannot contribute to that 401k until you pay back the loan. So make sure you read about the terms of repayment um, and whether or not you're going to have the ability to contribute to that 401k as you are repaying the loan. Most say, no, you cannot, but it does differ institution to institution. So that's a 401k. A IRA, a traditional IRA, is typically a rollover of a 401k into a different account. Now, those are harder to get access to because with the rollover, you're no longer contributing to that account, right? You've left that employer, you're no longer contributing to that uh, account, you're now contributing to your 401k with your current provider instead. So IRAs are typically more stringent and harder to get access to. Again, inquire with your financial institution as to how much you can get access to. In my experience, it tends to be more restrictive than a 401k. Then the third option is what we call a Roth IRA. So Roth IRA is money you've already paid taxes on. You've already paid taxes on this money uh, and your money has since earned money. So you have your principal, which is the amount you've contributed, and then how much money your money has made. With a Roth IRA, since you've already paid taxes on it, you can actually withdraw the principal. You can actually withdraw the amount that you've already contributed. So that's actually not a bad option either. What you can't access is the money that your money's made. So if you paid $10,000 into a Roth IRA and that account is now worth 13,000, uh, you can only withdraw the 10,000, not the extra three that your money has made. So you can certainly access your money for the purpose of buying a house. Retirement accounts are great. Uh, inquire with your financial uh, advisor, your 401k plan, IRA plan, Roth IRA plan to find out exactly how much you can get access to and what the terms are. Hope that helps, thanks.